All right, we are somewhere in the Caribbean and we're going for a hike. It's quite warm, but it's also like a walk, very hike, road awesome hike. View. Yeah, yeah, incredible view. And we're here with our good buddy, James Barber, and Holly and I are, of course, the happy couple. Woo. You know, it's like our thing. You know. So we were talking and I realized there's a lot of um, probably interesting parallels and things that we've learned and experienced because James has traveled the world performing and his wife is like super fitness, yeah. like hardcore. Duh, 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 duh. And so is Hanalee. So um, you guys have also had to deal with being a part at various times. I imagine with the travel and everything. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, so we did one, and I'd love to get your perspective too. We did one yesterday on long distance relationships. Yeah. I think it would be, we could cover that. By the way, guys, James looks shorter than me just because I'm closer hill. to the camera and we're on a hill that's like this. It's perfect. Like, don't <laughs> worry, he's very much taller than me. Look, come up on I was the looking. I'll come up on the camera. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that was awesome. So. We're While just also trying to like not get hit by the oncoming cars. Yeah, don't worry about the cars. They fly by like 100 miles an hour, about two inches from you. <laughs> Woo. Fear for my life here. That Yeehaw. Really that was definitely close. So. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. Good. Nice people. So, um, all right. So how do, how do you how did you guys deal with like what what are I guess the top few tips that you have for people? when you have to deal with long distance relationship, yeah. even for a period of time? Yeah, great question. So it was it's different at different stages of the relationship. When we first got married, it was just she and I, and she was in the performance world, so at certain times she could travel with me, or I would travel with her, depending upon what we were doing. Uh, but then obviously when we had separate gigs, or I had to go on my own, or she had to go on her own, um, what we did, if it was an extended period of time, were we stayed in communication with each other, which is vital. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Um, and that was pre-FaceTime and all this kind of stuff and pre-video message. So we would call, but we would also make it a point that we wouldn't go a certain amount of time without seeing each other. Nice. Oh, that's so, good. What was that time? Point. Just out of well, curiosity. It varied. It usually was four to six weeks. Okay. Nice. And then we would try to do at least a week together or a couple of days together. Makes sense. Because when I would go away, I would go away for four five months at a time. Right, because you were doing shows. I was doing shows. So Broadway shows, like, I've done nine Broadway shows, but when you, when you have smaller shows that are running, you know, around the country in a theater, they run sometimes, the rehearsal is four to five weeks, and then you've got right. a month or two of running, so it's a long time. Right. Uh, but then when we had kids, that dynamic changed, because my wife just couldn't pick up the kids all the time and go because they had school. Right. So we try to implement the exact same thing, which is, and we try to keep the time even uh, shorter, less between. Yeah, shorter. Yeah. Okay. So that we would, uh, you know, we would go four weeks max. Got it. And then try to see each other. Sometimes that got stretched, but with the advent of FaceTime and this stuff, it makes it a lot easier. That makes That's sense. Awesome. Okay, yeah. good. And then how did, how has FaceTime, Skype, and these things changed that? Yeah, it's been, it's been good, but there's also been something which I found which was interesting. When, <laughs> specifically for my kids, you know, when you're in a dynamic and you have a st stable group, you're looking forward to that stable group, right? Right. Hey, guys. Hey. And uh, what happens with FaceTime is that when I'm in front of them, sometimes it makes them miss me more. Does that make sense? Oh, they see me and they're like, oh, I wish you're here, I wish you were right. here. If we were talking on the phone, or you know, writing letters back and forth, or just sending videos. There's a little bit of a disconnect with it, so you're not one-on-one, -on -one, but it has absolutely made a huge difference in a positive way because we're able to interact. You know, if one scraped her knee, she goes, "Look, I scraped my knee," and you can see it. <laughs> right. You can be in. You know, you can be present with them rather than getting information later. Right. So does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. That's off the cliff. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> because like it abruptly ends the road right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're all yeah. heading directly for it. We're like, yeah, that guys, that's great. Whoosh, <laughs> fall off the cliff. I think we're good. I think we're good here. I want to just show you guys this view of the island back here. Check it out. So pretty. I mean, look at that. And you got the honking horns and everything. This is 
Beautiful. Roosters and, you know. And my motto for life right here. Oh, his motto for life. Yeah. No dumping people. Yeah, like Stay don't. Positive. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, man. All right. And love, anything you want to share? Um, yeah, I mean, I think those are, those are some great insights, great tips. And um, the thing about keeping it, you know, we covered some things yesterday in yeah. our, our previous video, but keeping that just uh, time between seeing each other at a somewhat constant and it keeps that like prediction there where you're not just like, well, I'll see you maybe sometime. It's yeah. like, great, here's the next chunk. Here's the next chunk. And you start, I think, getting familiar with how that chunk of time also feels. Yeah. And it's then like a stable, okay, well, we did it before, we can do it again kind of thing. So, right. And that makes a lot of sense. And you guys heard it. James is a smart dude. And he's amazing. And his wife, Dana, they're just a fantastic couple. And they said basically the same thing we did yesterday in our video. Got to keep the communication going. So there might be some truth to that. Maybe some truth. <laughs> Those are James's <laughs> thumbs, not mine. <laughs> well, we're having fun out here. St. Vincent. Yep, getting our sweat sash on. Yeah, it wasn't like that hard of a hike. It's just because of the humidity <laughs> and everything. It's just so damp. You're instantly on it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that guy just wanted to honk like hardcore. Yeah. We're right on a corner, you know, so anyways. All right, guys, well, that's what we had to share with you for today. How exciting was that? It was fantastic. You get to see the amazing, incredible James Barber so. and Hana Lee, of course, and this guy who just holds the camera mostly and carries the bags. Rappy, rappy. Yay, and honks with the disco bus. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Bye.